Oh my God, what the fuck did I just order? So to my Filipino viewers in the Philippines, I am happy to present you Jollibee. You guys know what that is because it's practically the McDonald's of the Philippines. So I am so excited about it. I had my first, uh, mm, smells so good. My first Jollibee experience maybe say three months ago. Um, I remember seeing it when I was driving on the freeway and I saw a sign for it and I got super excited because I've heard about it but I never actually had a chance to try it. So. Um, I don't know if you guys seen the episode where Anthony Bourdain, my hero and my husband, um, he was in the Philippines and he tried uh, Jollibee. I don't know if it was his first time but he seemed to enjoy it. I think, I'm not sure. His reactions, I, I can never tell, but um, at least uh, if you haven't seen that episode and you've never heard of Jollibee before, I'm happy to share this experience with you. So, okay, I ordered everything, as you can see. I just wanna go through each item slowly. First off, I have what may look kind of sad, but I was craving something different aside from the chicken joy that uh, I usually order. But this one here is a burger steak with rice as a side. Um, let's just see how this goes because I haven't had this before and I wanted to try it the first time. It looks a bit TV dinner-ish, but this is a fast food restaurant. We're not looking for um, quality as far as looks goes, but if it tastes good, then hey, whatever. And here I have the ultimate meal, which is a set of fries and the famous fried chicken. And I have a side of gravy as well, which you can use as a dip for the chicken. If not, you can actually kind of drench it over the chicken. And lastly, this is, this is where the confusion comes from for um, most people who haven't had Jollibee. This is one of my first experiences with this, uh, this meal here. It's actually a spaghetti. What's the most interesting thing about it, and like I've said before, um, not like I've said before, like I mentioned Anthony Bourdain's experience, he had this uh, spaghetti and he thought it was so, I think, interesting. I think that was his reaction. But what's interesting for me is that it's a sweet spaghetti. So I believe they use banana ketchup for it. So it's kind of a sweet and savory spaghetti with little bits of hot dog or sausages or whatever it is. Again, fast food, it's not supposed to look pretty, but I'm pretty sure it tastes yes. amazing. I actually wanna start off on the chicken since that's what Jollibee is known for. So let me go ahead and rip this off. And as far as drinks go, I have the pineapple. I think it's a pineapple juice. Oh yeah, it's pineapple juice. It's so good. Absolutely refreshing. And in here it's nothing. It's just empty. Um, I'm gonna use it as trash. All right, let's start the eating. So we're gonna try this chicken first. Um, maybe I will drench this drumstick here with some of that gravy. It looks so interesting. Gravy there. Hmm. Now, the obvious choice for chicken, especially after having already done a a Popeye's video would be KFC, right? Mm. 
Mm, that's really good. I literally sucked the meat off of that bone. So like I said, you would obviously expect me to to get KFC, but I want to try another option. Maybe a KFC video in the future, right? But right now, let's focus on Jollibee because I, I think it deserves a little bit more attention here, attention here in the states. Let's dip it with the gravy. Mmm. Do you hear that crunch? The skin is crispy. Skin on fried chicken, my favorite part. The worst part you can have, but it's my favorite part. I mean, if there was a meal where we just had um, chicken skin Unfortunately, I would, I would be having just that. Mmm, super delicious. This gravy is kind of like that typical gravy that you get. With mashed potatoes. So it doesn't have a, a special flavor really, but who would have known that <clears throat> gravy and fried chicken would go so perfectly together. Hmm. I swear, I think my dog just purposely drinks water while I film. Mm. So, That's my talent, being able to put a whole piece of chicken in my mouth and have it come out with no meat left on the bone. I'm a professional chicken eater. So videos like this with fast food or fried foods in general, I think it's perfect for the viewers that are that aren't allowed to have these kind of fatty foods because they're either on a diet or whatever the case, but <clears throat> allow me to satisfy your cravings with this good shit. I'm a health freak, I work out a lot. I eat very healthy. So when I shoot videos like this, you're always wondering why I don't gain weight because this will quite frankly be my only meal today. I know this sounds really bad, but I mean, all I have to do is just drink water and maybe I'll have something like oatmeal because oatmeal is low in calories and it fills you up pretty fast, but that's about it. I mean, I can literally last throughout the whole day without eating. I have it I have it down to a science, this food eating. 
So take a look here. I have that sweet spaghetti. Mmm. That spaghetti <clears throat> tastes better than it looks. A lot of fast food actually it tastes better than it looks. There's just something so different about this. I got, this is super Asian spaghetti. It's really sweet. It's um, savory. It has a meat sauce in it. I just think Jollibee is every um, Fil uh, every Filipino's either childhood memory or guilty pleasure. And I know as Americans, we have our guilty pleasures as well. Mine, it just happens to be McDonald's. <sighs> I love McDonald's, it's my favorite fast food restaurant. I love Carl's Jr. too, but no one really talks about Carl's Jr. And I think in the East Coast, it's called Hardee's. Correct me if I'm wrong, I think it's called Hardee's. Um, but yeah, Carl's Jr. is my other favorite fast food restaurant, but it's not very popular, I don't think. And how can you say no to that mascot? He's so freaking cute. Mm. This pineapple juice is actually really, really good. I was actually thinking of doing some authentic Filipino food, which I will. Um, but I still have to decide which meal I want to showcase for one of my mukbangs. So I'm gonna set this aside because I want to. I want to try this sucker. All right. Hey, if it doesn't taste good, since this is my first time having the burger steak, if it doesn't taste good, I'm gonna tell you the truth. Okay. So let's just say this is a a new experience for both of us. So I got a set of rice. Well, you don't really have a, a choice. So it's basically burger patties drenched in this. I think it's, it might be gravy. Am I crazy? Why didn't I ask? It might be gravy. Hmm. You know what it tastes like? Salisbury steak. It's got mushrooms. Mm. I don't know if this is my thing. I mean, I like burgers and I like... I really like meat patties like that. But there's something TV dinner-ish about this. Like I just popped it in the microwave from the freezer. I mean, it's not bad. It's just, I don't, I think I'd rather just go with the chicken. Now, if I grew up eating this, I think it would be really nostalgic, right? I have that kind of relationship with food. If I grow up eating something, even if it's not fantastic, and I have it today, it tastes good to me psychologically. I think somewhere in my head, it tastes good to me because it's reminding me of the good times when I was a child eating it, right? So, I mean, if this is your first time trying it, I don't think it's gonna be mind blowing. But I think 
I feel like it's worth a try, right? Just just try it. I mean, I can tell you now that it tastes like Salisbury's, Salisbury steak. So maybe you don't have to go out of your way to get it, but... Mm. Okay, maybe I like it now. <laughs> Anything paired with the rice tastes good to me. Back to this lovely spaghetti. Mm. This is good. Freakishly weird, but good. Oh, my leg is cramping. I can't fucking sit right. Let's move this bucket so I can show you my my crazy ass meals. Let's have some more fries. I finally have a day off today. <clears throat> so, this was a good time to shoot a video. I did my daily morning routine. Of getting my coffee. And running some errands. I only have two days off during the week. I very rarely get weekends off, so weekdays are the, the time I get um, I get my things done. I actually need to get my car washed. Oh, the funniest thing. You know how I love my Starbucks. I always get one every single day. I give that company so much fucking money, you don't even know. I was in a drive-thru. Yay, American life, drive through. And, um, I ordered my drink, and it was, um, the cars in front of me passed, they got their drinks or whatever, and got to the window, and, uh, the barista tells me that the person in front of me had paid for my drink. I said, oh, that's... That's so nice, you know, like, why did they do that? And then she, she just said, oh, you know, it's just something that a lot of customers do here. They like to pay it forward, pay it forward. Like, they, you know, they're treating you in a way with a free beverage. And I, I, it was so funny because I sat there and I was like, oh, well, I guess I should pay for the, you know, the drink behind me. I'm not, I'm not sure. I guess I can keep this going. But my first question was, how much, how much is the charge for the person's drink behind me? Or, you know, my drink was only two something and the person bought it for me, which is fine. But if that guy behind me had ordered four beverages, that's almost $20. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to be a little bitch about it, but if that's 20 bucks, I, I'm like, can I just pay for one drink? You know, it, this is all running through my head. I said, oh, okay, well, how much? And then she said, oh, he only got one drink. It was for, for something. I think it was like a white mocha. I said, oh, that's fine. But I just thought it was crazy how I had to stop and think, okay, wait a minute. Ask for the amount first before you get all nice and friendly with everyone. Who is the last person to receive a drink without buying it for the, the person behind them? Is that person an asshole or is that person just... I don't know. I just thought it was... So there was an earthquake the other day. In California, we get earthquakes. I know uh, all over the world, there, there are um, countries that experience earthquakes. 
on the daily in the maybe. U.S. though, um, California is the epicenter for earthquakes. So we had one the other day, and it was uh, I think it was like twelve a.m. sometime somewhere around there. People were asleep already. So yeah, there was that earthquake, and some people were asleep. But I was I was just having my late night meal. At 12, and I felt it. And it really wasn't that strong. But I'm the type of person, I don't freak out in situations like that. And I don't know why I don't freak out. Here's my boyfriend sitting on the couch. He's like, oh my god, there's an earthquake! And I'm sitting there... I'm actually sitting there trying to feel it out a little bit more. I quite literally sat there and said, Oh, it's gone. I didn't really feel it. There's something crazy going on with me, especially when I want to feel earthquake. Do I not realize that earthquakes kill people? There's something really... It's like... And I was talking to my coworker about this and she felt the same way. She's like, everyone around me was freaking out, but I was, I actually wanted to feel it a little bit more. Now that's not coming from a place of, hey, I want to be in danger. Well, well, I kind of like that feeling of being in danger. Not necessarily being killed or not necessarily being hurt, but kind of that adrenaline, adrenaline rush. I love that. That's why I love roller coasters. I love being scared. I love being spooked. I would go into a haunted house if you invited me to. I would go to into an empty, abandoned, and like insane asylum if you wanted me to. I love being scared. It's kind of crazy because I sometimes even imagine myself being chased by a monster. I'm not joking. Like I said, I love scary movies. Or when they're being chased by some evil demon. Or something like that. I just, I imagine myself in that situation and I kind of want to be in that situation. Obviously, I don't want to come out dead. I've said that before. But I just think that rush and that feeling, oh my god, it's like I just, I get a high off that. So if you ever invite me and you want, invite me to some haunted house, I will be the first to go. I will be the first. Yeah, I'm really confusing. What people don't realize is that I'm kind of a, I'm, I'm a weirdo. You probably won't see that on the surface, but I'm kind of a weirdo. But I think I've moved on from that Salisbury steak. It was a good try, nice try Jollibee. But I'll stick with my chicken. I don't know why I try with french fries because they look nice on paper, but I actually never finished them. Kind of like that last video I did for Halal's. I think it's because the amount of time I spend kind of just putting this food together, the fries are shitty by then. And I kind of don't want to eat them. So anyway, I'll just finish this up. I have some of this. Mm. Now you're like, what the fuck is this bitch gonna eat now? <laughs> Beautiful, right? 
So Jollibee does have some dessert. This here is what we call Hollow Hollow. It has tons of ingredients in there, layers upon layers of things. Um, um, it has ube ice cream, which is that purple ice cream there. It's got beans, jello, red and green jello. It has flan, I believe, in there. So it just looks like a hot mess. But really, it actually it, it tastes pretty good. Um, if you guys look up BuzzFeed and Jollibee, you guys will see them actually trying some Holo Holo as well. So I am definitely not the first person to try this on camera, but I love, I love this kind of stuff. It almost looks like a, a drunk person. Or even a high person wanted all these ingredients inside just to throw it in into one cup. It's actually quite good, guys. My Filipino friends, am I making you proud? Next time I promise you, I will have sisig, lumpia, pansi, all those damn foods for you guys. I love Filipino people. It's funny because my Filipino friends, they always tell me those aunties that you, those aunties that you meet, they'll be very nice in front of your face, but they, they will talk shit or they will gossip behind your back. I wonder how true that is. I think in any culture, relatives love to gossip. But I think Filipinos like to make fun of that as part of their their culture. All right, my friends. That concludes my Jollibee experience. I actually quite like it. Try to see if you have one near your, um, or in your area. Just give it a try. On Yelp it has horrible reviews, but I'm not sure if it's because they're comparing this kind of chicken to the chicken that we already eat or familiar with, but I like it because this is like the McDonald's of the Philippines, you know? And I, and I think that it's, it's so important for each country to have their own little special thing. And I'm so happy that I was able, that they opened up the location here so that I'm able to try it. So much love to you. I'm probably going to finish this and I will see you guys soon. Bye.